Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my God, you guys, I have never been more excited to sit down and film a video than I am for today. I have not been in this actual studio in over three weeks now and it feels so crazy. For those of you guys who do not know, I just launched my first ever collaboration with Morphe, the sister collection. We launched a beautiful rainbow palette and an iconic brush set as well, perfect for unleashing your inner artist. They sold out internationally in less than one day, which is so crazy and I am so incredibly grateful for all of you guys and all of your support. My life has been so crazy within the past several months and you sisters have all definitely noticed it. I've been of course posting on my regular production schedule but I have not been as active on Snapchat and on Instagram and Obviously you guys all know now what all the work and love was going into it and it was creating the palette and the commercial and all the beautiful looks surrounding it. But as soon as it launched, I was ready to, for once in my entire life, take a little breather moment, relax, chill, hang with my family and friends and also celebrate. And it has been an amazing three weeks and I am so incredibly grateful for all of you guys for understanding, letting me breathe, letting me actually take some time for myself. But I am back and today, we are celebrating. So first and foremost, before I even jump into the makeup of today's video, I first wanna say um, thank you, most importantly, to every single one of you guys out there for everything and for supporting me because we have a lot of things to be celebrating in today's video. Um, let's do a quick little recap. So this all started a few weekends ago when myself and my team traveled to Minnesota to open the biggest Morphe store in the entire world located in Mall of America. It was so beyond crazy. Oh my God, hundreds and hundreds of sisters showed up literally hours before you guys were even supposed to. We were able to bring them hot chocolate and donuts, make sure everyone was safe in the cold winter. People ended up sleeping inside of the mall. And the next morning we were greeted by thousands and thousands of you guys at the mall for the ribbon cutting. It was so crazy. One of the best days of my entire life that I will truly never forget. Then we had to hop on a plane to LAX really quickly because my family and little brother just got to town to celebrate the fun events coming up within the next week. And the next day, thanks to all of you sisters voting like crazy every single day, we won together the People's Choice Awards for 2018 Best Beauty Influencer of the Year, which is so incredibly crazy and I am so grateful for it. I got to give two amazing fans a makeover on the red carpet and accept my trophy right then and there. You may have missed it since my category was not televised. Um, apparently when you get hundreds and hundreds of thousands of votes, if you're a digital influencer, you're still not important enough, um, which is just lovely. So fighting against that every single day, but regardless, it's the People's Choice Awards and that means you guys voted and that means way more to me than any trophy that we can win any single single day, so still. Thank you the most. So the PCs were on a Sunday and the next day was Monday, meaning it was my palette launch party night. And oh my God, you guys, I was so beyond excited. This party was planned at very, very last minute. So myself and the Morphe team were literally hustling all day long to make sure it was actually gonna be ready for everybody to come and celebrate. Inspired by the Unleash Your Inner Artist theme of the palette, it was an all white party, which proved to not last for very long, judging by myself getting paint poured all over me in my iconic custom outfit. But it was truly a night I will never forget. And I am so grateful to have every single person in my life that has been supporting me since day one. I was sobbing, crying during my little speech with Linda Morphy, the owner and CEO. I really don't cry or get emotional that often. I will say I definitely have built up a very, very thick skin over the past several years, but there were just so many people there supporting me that I could not help but get so emotional and be so grateful for everything that has happened in the past few months. So. I sobbed, thank God the makeup was okay, but after that I got ruined by gallons and gallons of paint being poured on me regardless and my outfit being completely ruined. Well, not really ruined, I guess, because everybody got to unleash their inner artist at the party, which was so much fun. I am so incredibly grateful for everybody in my life that was able to make it and also everybody who wasn't able to make it as well. Obviously there were a lot of tragedies going on at the time in California with the fires and so many other things, but the support has meant so much to me regardless. And also major thank you as well to every single person on the Morphe team that I've worked with since day one of this collaboration. It has been so incredibly amazing and I cannot believe it is finally here and without everybody this would not have happened so you guys know who you are love you all the most after the launch party everybody jumped in the party bus back to my house and we were literally awake until five in the morning celebrating um everybody got very they had fun and so did I, but I was sister sober, of course, as you guys know, because I had to wake up in literally two hours because the next day was launch day. Waking up at 7 a.m. with my parents and some of the Morphe team members who had slept over was neither fun nor fresh, I'll tell you that right now, but it was all worth it because at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 
we broke makeup history with the launch of the James Charles X Morphe palette. And oh my God, you guys, I am so incredibly grateful. We launched with um, quite a lot of units. I obviously cannot release those numbers, but we sold out of the entire collection in Europe, Australia, and Canada in less than 10 minutes and sold out globally in less than one day, breaking Morphe records and having their highest sales day in history, which is iconic. While we were celebrating the palette sellout, I don't even know how it happened, but you guys pulled together and we hit 10 million sister subscribers on this YouTube channel. Oh my God, you guys. We started this channel only three years ago now and never in 10 million years did I ever think we would get this far. I like, I cannot believe the progress that we've had together as a family. This journey has been quite the roller coaster, but I started this with a mission in mind of creating beautiful and creative makeup looks, creating entertainment content, making you guys happy and I can truly say we have shaken up the beauty industry for the better. And then literally one day later, we also somehow managed to hit 10 million on Instagram as well, bringing our total like social media reach to over 20 million sisters, which is so beyond crazy. I feel like we are literally running a nation up in here and it feels so amazing. And I am so incredibly grateful for every single one of you guys. Trust me, if it were not for you, I would not be here and that is a genuine promise. I love my job and I am so grateful that I get to do it and inspire you guys every single day and thank you from the bottom of my heart, truly. After all those amazing things that went on, I decided for once in my life to take a little bit of a break. Most importantly, I wanted to celebrate with everybody in my life that means the absolute most to me, but I also wanted to chill, to relax, to take some time for myself and my mental health because it was a little sister struggling, not gonna lie. But I also took a few days as well to plan some really amazing content coming soon and I am so beyond excited. And after all that, I am ready to be back to pump out some amazing videos for you guys, of course, using this baby right here. And that leads us to today's brand new video. So you guys saw the finished and beautiful 52 second commercial that I was so incredibly proud of. But what you don't know is that that commercial was shot not once, but um, twice. And both times took well over a week to produce. We literally hired a videographer to come on set and film the makeup creation process process of every single one of those looks so I could later convert it into a tutorial for this YouTube channel, but that didn't exactly work out when it started taking five, six, seven hours to create each look. So unfortunately, I do not have tutorials of the campaign looks, except for, of course, the Unleash Your Inner Artist look, which if you have not seen that video, make sure to click right up here. And I was trying to think, what do I want to do for my 10 million video? I have to do something big, iconic, I have to celebrate, and I thought, do I want to brace myself and do every single one of those looks again and film them as tutorials? And I came to the conclusion, no, I'd rather not die on camera. So then I was thinking, okay, maybe I'll make it a lot easier for myself and just do one of the looks. So I tweeted it, and after reading through thousands of replies, I gathered that um, you guys kind of liked all of them and nobody could agree. So I do, of course, have a compromise. Hopefully I can actually pull this off, but some of my favorite looks that I've been seeing so far from you sisters that have been actually able to get the palette and start to play with it have been looks where you combine a few different of the campaign images into one. So for today's video, since you guys cannot decide which look you liked better, I thought I would whip out the palette and play with literally every single color in here and try to recreate all the campaign images on my face at one time. This is gonna be a little bit of like a weird mix of a tutorial video, but also mostly just me playing with the actual palette. I'll show you guys every single color in there, the techniques that I like to use for maximum color payoff and blendability, and also a little bit of a behind the scenes look of how I created every single one of these looks. So without further ado, grab your pinkity drinkity, grab a snack, and let's get started and unleash our inner artists. After looking at all the images and stalking a few of you guys on Twitter as well, I saw this look by Yadi MUA. She's so incredibly talented and she actually combined all the campaign looks into one. I'm gonna change a few things, but I'm gonna use her photo as inspiration today because I think she did a really good job picking the places to put everything. So, thanks girl. Let's get started. My base is already on because this video is gonna be focused on mostly shadows, duh. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly and my Morphe M173 brush. This is in the James Charles X Morphe brush collection. And we're gonna use this to prime my eyelids and get ready for shadow. Starting off, I'm just gonna grab my palette. Oh my God, it feels so crazy to actually say that. Holy crap. Um, I promise yours will not come looking like this. This is actually the first one that was ever made. So I've been traveling with this and using this for several months now. Um, she's been through quite a lot. She's been dropped, she's been used, she's been dug into, but she still gets the job done. So I'm gonna first grab my Morphe M433 brush and just dip into the shade You're Kidding, which is literally the best bright red. 
which is literally the best bright red in the entire world. And I'm just going to start laying that on the eyelid. This probably is gonna be the easiest eye look you'll ever do because we're literally just doing a, Look at how pigmented that is. I'm just packing this color right onto the lid over top of my MAC paint pot, AKA a dry base formulated specifically for the eyes because those are the techniques that are gonna give you the best results. As I've said a million times, I'm gonna use that brush to kind of stamp outwards a little bit because I am gonna kind of wing this out and pull it towards my temple. And then with whatever excess shadow is left on that brush, I'm just gonna start lightly going over those edges to buff them out and make sure they are nice and blended. I'm gonna grab a little bit of a fluffier brush and use this to go over the edges and start dragging out this red eyeshadow down underneath the eyeball and also kind of everywhere else as well to make this look less winged. On an M501 brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade literally next to your kidding and I'm gonna give that a quick spritz of my Prep and Set setting spray and use that to meld together the red tones and the highlighter that I already had on. Oh my God, I love the shadow so much. The last step of the love stick lick is of course the hearts. Now on the day of set, I actually put on a heart sticker first and then did all the red and just peeled it off and we had a nice negative space moment. Um, I do not have any more heart stickers and I could not find them at the craft store today for some reason. So we are now going to draw them on and hope that it looks okay. I'm gonna put one right here. Oh, <gasps> thank God. Oh my God, okay. And I'm gonna put another one right here. I'm gonna quickly set that in place with just a little bit of canvas on a tiny little pencil brush just to make sure that the concealer doesn't move around. Can I do a little heart in the inner corner too? <gasps> Kind of cute. All right, that is the lovesick eye already done and complete. I'm gonna grab the same brush and painterly and plop some on the other eyelid and get started on the blue look. I'm first gonna grab the M456, which is my brush that I actually created with Morphe. This is the tiny blending brush and dip into the shade Cola. And I'm gonna use this to start building out the outer V. I'm placing on this color first because in order to get really, really pigmented and bright dark blues, you do have to use slightly different techniques than typical eyeshadows, like I talked about in my original video, which for some reason caused quite the controversy for literally no reason at all. For me personally, I definitely felt as though my reveal video was very, very upfront and honest with you guys about the palette and the different formulas and the techniques that you should be using and the different products that work best with it in order for you guys to obviously get the best possible results. And for some reason, a lot of people seem to think that I was lying or that I was trying to get more money out of you guys, which first of all, I don't even understand how that would even be a thought process considering the product that I recommended to work best with this Morphe eyeshadow palette was a MAC paint pot, they are sharing none of the same money, so that's not even helping Morphe, it's just genuinely a really bomb product that myself and the Morphe product development team have found works really, really well with these type of shadows. But also as well, if you guys have been following me for a very, very long time, you would know that I definitely used to get involved with quite a lot of drama in the social media space, and I used to have a very, very snappy mouth, and I've been working on that actively over the past several years, and I feel like I've definitely gotten way better at biting my tongue and not replying to people, but watching these palette videos, oh my god, you guys, there have been definitely a few at this point that I've wanted to literally reach through my computer screen and be like, why, what are you doing? Now, if any of you guys actually have the palette, you may have noticed that on the front packaging, it says the James Charles Artistry palette. Now, this is not because of the Unleash Your Inner Artist motto. It is actually because when I had the opportunity to create this palette with Morphe, I said I wanted to create literally the best rainbow mattes on the market, and that we definitely did. But what I've learned is that when pigmentation is your number one priority, which for me it 100% was, some of the shades actually do have to be formulated just slightly differently than a typical eyeshadow in order to get those really, really bright, vivid pigments to create beautiful rainbow looks. I've talked about that several times now. That's what I was talking about in my original reveal video when it came to pressed pigments versus typical eyeshadows, and people really, really ran with that, and I'm really glad that this has kind of created a bigger discussion about the actual ingredients in makeup, but whew, some of the things that I've been seeing people saying or doing regarding these actual shades have been interesting to watch, to say the least. Since this is the Unleash Your Inner Artist palette, I figured the best possible example I could give to you guys would be an actual artist. If an artist was going to paint a picture, they would never slap paint onto a canvas, sit back and wait for it to magically blend together to create a beautiful piece of art. No, that is the whole point of being an artist. You actually have to put in the work, you have to build up your talent level, you have to use the right materials, tools, paintbrushes, paints, and put it on the right canvas to produce the final product. If you want to create a beautiful watercolor painting, it does not matter how bright, how vivid, how blendable, or how expensive your watercolor kit is, because chances are, if you apply those colors to a canvas, they're simply never going to perform as well as they could if they were applied to watercolor paper. Now, same thing goes to acrylic paint or oil paint. If you apply those paints to a watercolor paper, chances are the paints are probably going to soak through and melt it, and it's going to be a huge mess. Now, of course, you can do those things if you want to, there are no rules to art, 
But for me, I've always looked at makeup, specifically eyeshadow, in the same exact way. Both art and makeup are not easy. They take a lot of time, a lot of practice, and a lot of talent. But any true artist knows that sometimes switching up your products and techniques to get a better final result is always worth it. I was literally so far and deep into that tangent that my camera stopped recording and I just missed half of this purple look. Sorry about that. Before I move on, I'm very proud of this palette. I've worked way too hard on it to do with a lot of speculation, so I just wanted to clear all that up. Moving on, that is the blue look all complete. I used the shades Hello, Playground, Cola, and a little bit of Brother to pull this all together. Love how this look turned out. And now I'm going to move on to the Galaxy look before I do any of the art because the purple is going to be super, super easy. So what I've done so far is grab the Morphe M433 brush and I've just dipped into the shade Single and I've used this to just kind of stipple it all over my face really, really messily just to get a light wash of purple on there. I wanna get like a nice kind of almost splotchy wash of color laid down in this area so I can add on lots of other things on top. And even though we are doing this messily, I am definitely trying to keep most of the pigment like right around kind of the nose bridge and around like this inner cheek region and lightly blending out those edges. So even if it's splotchy, it still looks good. Now with that same exact brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade Escape and I'm gonna use this once again to kind of splotchily just dab on some more pigment and dimension. And then finally, I'm just gonna take an M506 brush and dip into the black shade Spooky and I'm just gonna do a little bit of this because it definitely goes a long way. This is so pigmented. And I'm just gonna add on a few more little sister splotches here and there for some final bits of galaxy dimension. Now to tie it all together, I'm gonna to grab the shade Artistry, which is this beautiful metallic duochrome blue purple shade right here. And I'm gonna grab this on my finger and I'm just going to tap over some of the areas of the galaxy. Oh my God, look at that. I'm gonna tap right over some of the areas of the galaxy to pack this shade on there and to add some blue glow. Now, like I was talking about earlier with different formulas being used, this is definitely one of the more unique ones in the palette. I've seen a lot of people swatching this one and being a little bit disappointed by the color payoff. It can be used on its own if you want and it's still absolutely stunning, but the shade is actually meant to be layered over top of other colors, hence what I'm doing right now for the full beautiful effect. By the way, the shade literally is the same way as well. This one is meant to be a kind of mixing shade for a highlighter and blush but can still be used on its own very, very beautifully. And then lastly, I'm just gonna grab a simple white liquid liner to add on these stars. So probably the hardest part of this entire campaign was drawing and shading in every single one of these hexagons when it came to the B look. Now, I think I'm gonna get it done right now to get it over with so I can do the slime and the flame because those are gonna be kind of easy. <sighs> so let's do this. To do this, I'm just gonna grab an angle brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade T in the top right corner. Let's start the first one right here. For the next one, I'm just gonna do the same exact thing but leave a little bit of a gap in between. If for some really odd reason you want to recreate this at home, which I don't know why you would, but if you just want to be a queen bee for a day and you have trouble with patterns, because let me tell you, this is hard, okay? Me and Lipstick Nick were literally on set trying to figure out what shape we were doing for a good like two hours before it actually ended up looking okay. So I would definitely recommend practicing on like your arm or your leg before you go right onto your face so you don't mess up. So now I'm going to grab the tiny little fluffy brush. This is the M152. Two of these come in my brush set and dip into the shade Punch Me, which is this cool tone light brown. And I'm gonna use this shade to blend out all of those lines. So I wanna do the top right corner to be the most dark. So I'm gonna focus the color right in there and then lightly blend out the excess. Okay, I'm just gonna go in now and blend out those edges. I'm next gonna grab that little small brush and dip into the shades Canvas and also a little bit of B, the bright yellow, and use these two colors to kind of highlight the middle of these honeycombs. So now that the combs are all on there, the last and final step of this look is going to be to grab a little bit of concealer and a very tiny liner brush. This is the M250, it's in the brush kit. And you can take a guess at what we're gonna do. All right, so I'm gonna leave the Queen Bee look alone for right now. Of course, I do wanna add honey later on, but that's gonna get really messy and really sister sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the flames. To start touching out the palette, I'm just gonna grab a matte orange liquid lipstick. This is Flamethrower from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I would use an orange eyeshadow, but that is gonna take me eight hours, so. Sorry about it. I'm basically just gonna go ahead and start like sketching the flames. For the orange, I'm gonna grab an M433 brush and dip into the shade 518 first. And I'm gonna lay this down over top of the liquid lipstick. I do have to bring it down to my neck. Okay, do I like try to take this off, I wonder? <sighs> oh my God, what is going on? I'm scared. I just want one video without having a mental breakdown, like just one. That took way too long. Okay, now to add some more dimension into the flames, what I'm gonna do is grab a little pencil brush and dip into the shade B, which is literally the best bright yellow pigment 
in the entire world. And I'm going to put this in like the center areas of the flames. So that is the fire look all complete. We only have two colors left being the green slime and then also the pink bubble gum. Now, I wanna put the slime right here jumping from my jawline so it like makes sense grav grav gravi gravitationally? Grav gravitationally, is that a word? Like the gravitational pull. Gravitationally, <laughs> it's a word now. I'm gonna put the slime here so it makes sense gravitationally, but doing that leaves this big open space right here. I wanted to put a butterfly there, but I can't find them. That's an issue. So I think because of the fact that the pink look was an eye look and then literally just the bubble, um, I need to somehow get like the pink in here somehow. So I think I wanna draw in a bunch of little pink bubbles as if they're like floating. So to draw in the outline of the bubbles, I'm gonna use the Kylie liquid lipstick in the shade Say No More. This is literally like an exact match to the shade Skip, so this will be a really good and fresh to draw it with. Next, I'm gonna grab the shade Skip on a flat packing brush and just put that right on there. Using that same brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade Pinkity Drinkity, which is the matte super light baby pink. I'm gonna put this um, like here. Okay, with a little pencil brush, I'm gonna grab a little bit of playground, just add in just a little bit of blue because why not? And then same thing with a little bit of Social Blade as well. A little bit of B as well. Then I'm gonna use the white liquid liner once again and just add in some reflections. Now I'm gonna draw on the slime, first using a cream paint just to get the outline. And then just setting it in place using a packer brush in the shade Social... The sh there was definitely a lisp somewhere in there. And then just grabbing a packer brush in the shade a packer brush and the shade Social Blade. <sighs> Scary. <laughs> With that same packer brush, I'm just gonna dip into the shade B and also a little bit of flashback as well and use those to highlight inside of the slime. With this tiny little detailing brush, I'm gonna dip into the shade Daddy and I'm gonna use this to shade more of the slime and add in some little drip drips. And then once again, some more white highlights. I'm gonna put on a black liquid lipstick because it's the only color that will not clash with every single one of the other colors on my face. This is Ofra in the shade The Bronx. You can use code James for 30% off. All right, sisters, I'm just gonna pop on a lash and I'll be right back with the finished look. Sisters, I just popped on a pair of my favorite lashes, Lily Lashes in the Style Miami. Of course, use code James for 15% off, just like basically every single product in this video. And also popped on some honey onto the honey combs, and that completes this campaign makeup tutorial. I had so much fun creating every single one of these original looks for the campaign commercial, and I'm so proud of how they all turned out. I feel like they all showcased the different colors in such a beautiful way, and I had so much fun again today recreating all of them together as one. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed all these looks and liked today's brand new video. If you decide to recreate any of them on yourself or literally create any look using my palette, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram. I cannot wait to see all the photos and see all of you guys unleashing your inner artists. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your sister's support. It means so, so, so much to me. I'm sorry that I could not do tutorials in every single one of these. This is the best I got. Hope you all still love me. <laughs> if you have not already, make sure to click that big red subscribe button down below as well and come join the sisterhood. We are over 10 million sisters strong and I love to have you join the family. I cannot even believe I get to say that. Thank you guys once again so, so, so much and I cannot wait to see what is coming for the future. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. They're both just James Charles and my Snapchat for more behind the scenes side stuff is James Charles with an extra S after Charles. This video's sister shout out goes to every single one of the 10 million of you guys out there and I promise that's the last time that I'm doing that cheesy moment for a while now. Don't forget to always retweet my video links and they go live on Twitter if you want to be the sister shout out for real next time. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video today. Don't forget to check out morphe.com and also ulta.com. Sign up for the mailing list to make sure you get the palette as soon as it comes back in stock. It is literally sold out worldwide. Thanks to all of you guys. I cannot wait to see your finished looks and I will see you next time for a brand new video. Bye.